Welcome back to GMA with advice on how to avoid being a victim of a growing rental scam. Homes falsely being listed for rent to the surprise of the home's owners. ABC's Alex Perche is back outside the FBI building in Washington with more on this story. Alex, good morning. Hey, Witt, the FBI is warning that these types of crimes are on the rise, but there are some tips that could potentially save you thousands of dollars. I always had my doubts and, you know, I tried to be vigilant. Ashley Reese thought she found the perfect house for rent in the Atlanta suburbs from an online listing. When she called, a man gave her the code for the lockbox to tour the home. How could I get into the house if, you know, it wasn't his? Reese wanted the house, so the man sent her the lease, which she shared with our affiliate WSB. The man also asked for $2,000 up front, which she forked over using Apple Pay and Zelle. But Reese never got keys. Turns out it wasn't even his house. Police believe he may have hacked the real landlord to get access to the lockbox code. It's been pretty financially devastating. This is a huge problem nationwide. The FBI says that in 2021, there was $350 million worth of rental scams. And with the rental market red hot right now, this year is on pace to surpass that. We are seeing a lot of people renting as opposed to buying homes, and that's probably why we're seeing a, a much bigger increase in losses right now. And it's not just renters, homeowners are victims too. Donna in Aurora, Illinois told ABC station WLS scammers had set up a fake online listing of her home. They took the real estate listing, which showed all the rooms that showed the house entirely. Donna says a renter even showed up to her door with a fraudulent tenant lease. She's flashing the papers in front of the door. I'm renting your house. I want to see it. And Ashley Reese is still fighting to get back the $2,000 she transferred electronically. But the FBI says you can protect yourself by looking for red flags, like punctuation and grammar mistakes. Beware when a potential landlord rushes you. Also, do a reverse image search of the listing's photos to see where else they may have appeared. And if you're a homeowner, the FBI says you should periodically search your property online. And if you think you're the victim of a rental scam, you can file a complaint with them at ic3.gov. Wait, some alarming information there. All right, Alex. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.